Hello everyone. I'm Cypria, a serial cloud engineer from the Virtual Code Innovate team. Today, let's talk about Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Secure Desktops and how you can create set of identical virtualized Windows environment for your users. What is Secure Desktops? The Secure Desktops service makes it easy to set up and manage virtual desktops. And here's what it offers. First of all, let's think about quick setup. You can easily create and manage multiple identical desktops using Oracle Linux or Windows. It also provides easy access. No need to connect to a VPN, just log in and start using your virtual desktop. It also provides strong security. Your data stays safe on Oracle Cloud and not on your personal devices. It also helps you to control everything with easy to use commands from anywhere. In order to get started, we need to first set up the tenancy. Oracle recommends using Secure Desktops Resource Manager, ORM Stack in Oracle Cloud Marketplace to simplify the process of setting up the tenancy. It helps you to create policies, dynamic groups, and user access for the Secure Desktops service. It also helps you to create and reuse existing network resources. Additionally, it also helps you to import a custom image for use in Secure Desktops pool. And all this using Terraform scripts. Next, you will create custom image using your own Windows image. Note that as of this recording, Oracle does not provide Windows 11 images. After that, we will go ahead and configure the desktop image. There is manual method and however, using secure desktop image builder is easier and recommended method. After that, we will create desktop pool and then access the desktop client interface. Now let's get started. Here, I'll show you how to configure a custom Windows 11 image. I created a compute instance by importing the Windows 11 image, and this instance has two OCPU, 32 GB of memory, and 300 GB boot volume. Since I'm using a Mac laptop, I'll access the Windows machine through the Windows app on my system. Next, let's refer to the solutions playbook and install necessary software. Install Microsoft C++ Redistributable 2019 Executable. This is a prerequisite for installing VirtualBox. Download and install VirtualBox 7. Next, install Windows Assessment and Deployment Kit. Ensure that the Hyper-V is also disabled. Now, you need to download the required software. The first is Oracle Vert.io drivers. Search for and download Oracle Vert.io driver. Save the file in the designated directory. Next, you will download Microsoft Windows 11 ISO. Download Windows 11 ISO file from the official Microsoft website. The next step is to download OCI Secure Desktop Image Builder from the official Oracle website. The last step is to download cloud-based init. Download cloud-based init from its official source. Registration may be required before downloading. I've already saved them on my Mac and I'll upload them to my object storage as a zip file. Once I upload, I'm going to download and extract the contents in the virtual machine. Let's go ahead and move the Secure Desktop Image Builder to the desktop. Go ahead and extract the Secure Desktop's Image Builder file on the desktop. Now we are all set to create the desktop image. Right-click on the Image Builder file and run as administrator. Go ahead and enter Y for choosing the boot mode as UEFI. Grant permission to download Oracle Cloud Agent and enter Y to proceed to the nodes. 
go through the notes and grant the permissions to download the resources. Select Yes to proceed to use the tool. Allow installing script to prepare the image to join the Active Directory. Ensure there is enough space in the boot volume. Oh, all right, it failed. Let's check the disk space and identify any unallocated disk space under the disk management. Go ahead and create a simple volume called D drive and then restart the process. I'll speed up these steps for the purpose of the video. Now go ahead and select the disk choice one and copy the path where the necessary files are stored. Paste the folder path into the PowerShell window and this will download the Oracle Cloud Agent. After that, we will select Windows 11 Pro for workstations as the desired image. Choose the time zone and proceed. Next, it will prompt you to enter the VM name, password and confirm the password. Proceed with the installation. and no further interaction is needed. The virtual box will automatically start and install the Windows 11 image. And after successful installation, it will shut down the virtual box automatically. You will now find the VMDK file in the Oracle Windows creation root folder in the D drive. Import the VMDK file in the object storage and copy the pre-authenticated URL in the notepad. Now, open the cloud shell and set the compartment ID and the URL. Now, you can run the command to import the object storage image with the following command and set the operating system type as this. As a final step, let's create a desktop pool. The first step in this is to tag the imported image file. Now set the key as desktop image and set the value as true. And set the OS type as Windows. Now edit the image capability as the image will not boot up with BIOS. It works only for UEFI. So we are going to uncheck the firmware used to boot the VM and save the changes. Go to desktop pool, then create a new pool and provide the name and the description. You can also set the pool start time, stop time and admin contact details. These fields are optional. Next, we will enable the admin privileges for the users on their desktop. By default, the maximum pool size is 10 and the standby size is 1. We will leave these settings as they are. After properly tagging the image, the desktop image will appear here. Select the desktop shape and then submit that you have already configured. You can also configure additional settings. The pool admin can manage the desktop management policies. The admin can configure a cron job to automatically start or stop the pool on a schedule. Now proceed to create the pool. Once the pool is created, the users can access using a specific URL. They can see the assigned desktops upon logging in. Currently, we are using a web client, but users can use the desktop client as well. And you can set the preferences accordingly. They can download the appropriate client based on their operating system. Now, let's go back to desktops and open it. The admin can observe a virtual machine being spun up in the OCI console, while the user can access the desktop directly from the browser. 